Was Jesus born on December 25th? No. <laughs> Is that shocking? No. Well, was there not. we go, folks. Okay, that's it. You can all go home go. now. We, we don't have to worry we, about all those presents. We just wiped Christmas yeah. out, so we'll. See. Yeah. Well, the first, let's. I mean, well, and let's do it. I mean, as if we were, you know, biblical detectives, and we're here in the, okay. in the Holy Land. First of all, in, first clue, Luke two. It says, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths, laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. That alone is a clue right there. It is. Well, yeah, absolutely. Because people who argue December twenty fifth seek to deal with this. The, the rabbis say in the Talmud that shepherds would only be out in the fields around March um, until the next rainy season. See, so people argue, well, you know, the winter there is not, the winter is still gets cold there too. I mean, if you've been to Israel in the I winter, <laughs> it does get, I've been there when there's been snow. It's not, so it's not just that they're out there, they're not just keeping their sheep in the pens. They're out in the fields and at night, which is very strange. Why would they be out in the fields at night? Well, you know, some people have argued, this is another one, that he was born in the autumn, he was born during the Feast of Tabernacles, which I understand because they say, well, God tabernacling with us. The problem with that is that, that during Tabernacles, the males had to all be in Jerusalem. So the birth of Messiah caused, would, would not cause Joseph to break the law by being outside of Jerusalem when he's born. It's not going to do that. The birth of Messiah is going to fulfill everything. So there is one time of the year that shepherds would especially be out with their flocks at night. Only one. That's in the springtime. Why are they watching their flocks at all hours? Because shepherds during one particular time do that. It's when the sheep's give, sheep give birth to lambs in that the lambing season. That's the only time. That's where they're watching at any time of day, any time of night. They're watching for any birth. That's the only time. And when would that happen? The lambs are not like people. They're only born at one time. I never knew that. Yeah. I must be a dummy. Honestly. No. Lambs are only born at a certain time of the year, not like us. They can only be born at a certain season. Lambs are born in the springtime. That's the first thing. They're born in the springtime. They could start as early as, as February, but it really would go March, April. That's the center. That's the Hebrew month of Nisan. We're going to also go to Nisan is that month. So during that, they'd be watching it, which all fits together because, you know, the shepherds, their job is to watch because a lamb, they make sure the lamb's okay. So it's, what a perfect thing to begin with because Jesus is the lamb of God. So why would God have, who would he have to greet the birth? Oh, shepherds oh, who are oh. watching for the birth of the lamb. So here that's so perfect of God. Oh, Messiah okay. is the lamb of God and they're there greeting. That's what they're doing. And so, and where is he born? He's born in Bethlehem or Beit Lechem. And the thing is that, that, Bethlehem, people don't know this, because of some clues we have in the writings of the rabbis, was actually a place where the lambs that they had were actually the lambs for the temple sacrifice. Uh -huh. Bethlehem, especially, was the lambs for the temple sacrifice. Really? So here, what more perfect place and time, Messiah born at the time of the lambs when the sacrificial lambs are born, uh -huh. in the place where they're born. Now here's something else that is going to you know, point to this period. And there's a clue in Exodus, Exodus 12, it says, take a lamb, a male, one year old, it's the Passover lamb. And so now you can read that and miss something. The, the lamb that is the Passover lamb, and Jesus, Yeshua, is the Passover lamb, is, is a year old at the time of Passover. So it means it had to be born a year before in the springtime to be a year old. So here Messiah, you know, so the Passover lamb dies on Passover. Messiah is the Passover lamb. He dies on Passover. But it's also born at the time of Passover. That's Nisan, spring. So Messiah, if the lamb, if the Passover lamb is born at the same time when it dies. So that's the next clue. And so the, first, the next thing is the holy day. Next clue is the holy days of Israel. And here, here what does that have to do with, with this mystery? Well, the central events of Messiah's life and his time on earth, they all take place on Hebrew holy days. I mean, all, and, and we'll start, and one people don't even realize, Palm Sunday, the first thing is he's going to his passion, getting on that dock, going there, that's a Hebrew holiday. People don't realize the first Hebrew holiday ever given to Israel was Palm Sunday. And, the, and where it is, yeah, it doesn't say Palm Sunday, it's, it's in Exodus 12 when it says, take a lamb on the 10th day of the month, you'll take the lamb, 
keep it for four days, to take the lamb to your house. That's called the tenth of Nisan. The first command given to Israel to continually keep. The tenth of Nisan is the day of the lamb. The day that they take the lamb to their house, keep it there until the time of the sacrifice. So what happens? The tenth of Nisan, count back from the Last Supper as Passover, the 14th, 15th of Nisan. Go back, you are at Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is the 10th of Nisan. It's the first Hebrew day ever given, and it's the day that they are actually, they're all, that when he's coming to, to Jerusalem, they're all taking the lambs to their house. God is taking the Lamb of God to his house on the day of the Lamb being taken to the house. Oh my. It is, it's all there. And, and the first, and the first thing in this, the first command ever given to Israel to go was, think about this, was take the lamb. In Hebrew, you can translate it, accept the lamb, receive the lamb. The first, he, the first command he gives to the Jewish people is, accept the lamb. And so, and they still, and when they fulfill that first commandment, it's all the age is complete. But that was the very first command, and that was the day 